Hi everybody, it's June 6, 2018, and this is the final news break. Yes, this is the final news break. I've decided to stop doing them because uh, when we first started doing them, we got a ton of viewers. And as time has gone on, the amount has waned and waned and waned. And I finally decided that for all the work I put into this, it isn't worth it for the few viewers that we do get watching it. So thank you if you have participated in this and enjoyed it. And maybe we'll pick it up again at another date. But right now, uh, it's going to come to an end, sadly. But let's get to the news for today. Uh, the, the news is uh, that Gavin Newsom out there in California uh, took the most votes in their uh, California primary, and in the fall, he will go up against Republican John Cox, who won about 26 percent in the election. Uh, Newsom got 34. Uh, the former mayor of San Francisco, Newsom, is expected to easily beat Cox, who's being backed by Trump. Of course, that's the curse in California, be backed by Trump. Texas Court of Appeals Tuesday stayed an execution of a man convicted of murdering a 93-year-old woman so his mental capacity can be reviewed. His uh, lawyers are arguing that he's intellectually disabled and therefore might be ineligible to be executed. Gee, too bad, you're not eligible. Um, that's really weird when you're going to kill somebody off. Medicare's hospital insurance trust fund, I'll try saying that one Medicare's Hospital Insurance Trust Fund is expected to run out of funding three years earlier than expected, the program's trustees said in a report. Uh, trustees Project, the trust fund for Medicare Part A, which helps pay for the hospital and home health services for senior citizens, will have its funds exhausted by 2026 after it goes to a, um, a backup, I think, $3 trillion dollars uh, to help them out. At that point, they'll only be able to pay 91% of the claims. You know why we don't have that money, folks? It's because when we had a little war back there in the Mideast, the uh, Iraq War, uh, our government decided that they would get the money by stealing from Social Security and Medicare. We'd have all that money if it wasn't that the government stole it. So the government should have to pay it back, okay? Um, I, I'm arguing about this because I'm on Medicare, and I, but this is my problem. This is your problem. You're getting older. Uh, a judge ordered President Trump Tuesday to submit to a deposition by Summer Zavos in a defamation suit against him last year. She was a former contestant on The Apprentice, and uh, uh, she accused Trump of groping and kissing her in a Beverly Hills hotel. He said it was 100% fabricated and a hoax, so... She decided to sue him for saying that. Why'd you just shut up, Donald? Women are more likely than men to take on debt to attend college, holding nearly two-thirds of the $1.4 trillion in outstanding student loans. And this is good news for all of us who like to jerk off. The percentage of Americans say it's morally okay uh, that uh, uh, pornography is at its highest level let me try that again. Can I try that again? This is the last episode, and I want to get everything right. The percentage of Americans morally okay with pornography is at the highest level since Gallup first began measuring moral perceptions of porn in 2011. 43% of Americans now believe that pornography is morally acceptable, and that's a 7% point jump from the last time they took this poll, which was in 2011. Get back to jerking off now. And finally, Air Force One, and get this, I, 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 don't, I can't conjure this in my little mind, is, uh, will not be outfitted with two refrigerators costing $24 million. What are they made out of, solid gold? The Air Force said in a letter to Connecticut Representative Joe Courtney, in a letter, Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson said the Air Force and the White House Military Office decided to terminate the effort to replace the refrigerators. $24 million for refrigerators, huh? Well, as you know, uh, our picture of the day uh, we have here, uh, the lead up to it is that the uh, Miss America contest has said that they're no longer gonna have the swimsuit competition. The women will be judged upon their brains and talent. So if it's talent over beauty, then this woman probably is next year's winner. 
Uh, that's Susan Boyle. She sings real well. And on last night's program, a real argument uh, um, uh, came out, and, and people started yelling and screaming at each other, and we figured that would be great for our clip of the day. Okay? It wouldn't matter if he was the second coming of Christ. Uh, you guys would say you that he's have named up. one good thing he's done. I haven't heard it. Give me an What, is it? what is it? Let me unplug Tell this. Me. Uh, you, 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 okay. Uh, uh, I'll just use this. Don't look it up. Don't look uh, it up. Tell uh, me. Uh, what uh, and please, please, Phil, answer that question before okay, before Scott has a permanent falsetto voice. Okay. okay. He, uh, as far as now, you have to look at it from my perspective, and from my perspective, oh, well, that's like easy the then. Answer. I looked. I I like the one good thing you said. I'm giving you the fucking good I, thing. I've heard you say one good thing he's done. Because you won't shut your trap long You're not enough. Saying it. I gave you plenty of time. You gotta look at it from my perspective. One yeah, thing. My perspective. One good thing. That's how the arguments go on on the on the ramble, and we'll be here again tonight uh, doing another one of those shows. As they say, uh, uh, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Well, we'll be doing that again tonight, and you can go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live, or if you just go to YouTube, just put in Alex Bennett, and it'll get you there. And uh, the show will uh, be on when we start. It, the, the player will just start playing. Hey, uh, you can also find us on Facebook. You can also find us on TuneIn. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on iTunes. Uh, well, go over to gabnet.net, and you'll find out all the ways in which you can watch us. Thanks for having been a part of this uh, little program of ours called Newsbreak, and hopefully at some point maybe we'll pick it up again. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, everybody.